Yeah, so welcome to this AllConf, and this is a FOSSI Foundation event, and most of you that attended previous AllConf probably know about FOSSI Foundation. I was, just want to very, uh, give a very brief overview about what we are, what our activities are, and what we plan in the next year, uh, because it might be interesting to you. Um, and first I wanted to, yeah, exactly, the, the Wi-Fi issue has been resolved. Um, we got two Wi-Fi networks and one isn't working and this is exactly the one that I wrote on the handout. So the other one also works, there you just enter your password. And you have to be careful that you have those settings and we are repeating those settings on the sponsor slide that you can see during breaks. So um, if you have issues, just come to one of us, I think we can help you solving it. Um, I want to give a great shout out to the people that bought professional tickets, which is a very nice way of supporting us. Um, they come at 250, uh, Great Britain pounds, which is because we are based in the UK. Um, and we had 21 people buying one this year, which is like an absolute record. I think we only had like five or six last year. And I think people recognize that it's a very easy way if you work for a company and you can reimburse like conference visits, for example. Um, they are still available because you don't get much except a free t-shirt or uh, flip-flops and a warm handshake and many thanks by everyone because it's very great contribution to making our conf and keeping it free for everyone, free to attend, keep the social events, etc. Um, yeah, and we brought some other swag so you can support us if you like our shirts that you're wearing actually or you like our mugs or flip-flops, uh, just get to us. We also have a credit card reader now which is like, seems to be a big issue usually people not having cash. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's the organizational part, and maybe as background, and Olaf already spoke about the history, how FOSSI Foundation happened, and it all started from the open risk community, as most of you know. Um, we are all professional engineers, hobbyists, or academics, yeah, like Olaf and Julius are working for large companies, others are working for nonprofits, I'm in academia. Um, and at this time, we were not happy with the state of open course, and this was in 2014 at Orconf, where we had like a meeting and discussed like, what shall we do next, we want to evolve from this stall, like it, the situation didn't change for six years. It was just lying around, we couldn't get access to it and we decided we want stuff to be like in a proper setting, not handled by companies anymore, being it like under a community foundation. And so we incorporated in 2015 then, um, uh, I know in 2014 as a, a community interest company, which is an asset lock in the UK. Uh, and that's our legal organization. So we are non-profit, we are registered in the United Kingdom, which turned out to be not the best choice, maybe, next future, <laughs> uh, we will see. Um, at this time it made sense because all contracts are in English and like incorporating in Germany, for example, requires you to do everything in German, which I speak and Olaf a little bit. <laughs> um, but it was a very good choice for us, we're all European and so we chose the UK. Uh, and there we are, a community interest company, which is like a limited with an asset lock, meaning you can't move assets out. You have to use all assets um, and profits in the benefit of the community. And you have to define what your community is. And um, yeah, community is you. Yeah, this is the, uh, also the purpose of the foundation. We want to run events. We want to help the community thrive. Um, all directors, we have seven at the moment, are volunteering. So we have a volunteering board of directors. Uh, we are doing the most of the work, but we have committees. Some of you might have already been in touch with, for example, a licensing committee or the conference committee. Um, we have members that are more active there um, and also people that are not members yet. And uh, we will see many talks related to this yeah, uh, in the next days. Yeah, so go to our website to find out about all other um, uh, activities. This is our mission statement, essentially. We want to promote and support Open Source Silicon. Yeah, we want to support the uh, development of open standards. One of the standards that we steward is the Wishbone Interconnect. Um, we want to support community events and organize regular events. Um, as Olaf said, we've spun up from one event every year to three events every year, um, trying to cover more of the globe, which is a little bit hard for us because we are all Europe-based currently. Oh, no, we're not. Julius is in Australia. Um, and we want to, and this is most important, is also why we put it in the mission statement, we want to encourage industry participation in open source IP design. And this turned out quite successful over the last two to three years, I think. There was a lot of influx from the whole Risk Five movement and we're very really happy uh, how things are going. And uh, our core business, so to say, is the, to assist hobbyists, academic institutions, industry with opening their work to the public. So 
if you want to know like which license to choose, if you need assistance, you can come to us and we can at least point you to the places where you can learn more. Um, we have a couple of activities, like this is a bullet list. I have another one. Let me just go through it. Um, we have LibreCourse, and uh, which is a replacement for OpenCourse because we, we finally didn't get hands on it. Um, we have the LibreCourse CI, which we slowly built. We will have a talk today from Oleg about it, um, which is a con continuous integration platform for uh, digital designs. We have a licensing committee. We have stewardship of a, a couple of projects like Wishbone and others. Uh, we are on the community events and we are every year an umbrella organization in the Google Summer of Code, which is maybe interesting to you if you run an open source project um, and it's too small to apply itself to Google Summer of Code because it has some organizational overhead for you. Um, we are a good stop um, to support you because we are an umbrella, so everyone who wants to be on our umbrella can apply via us. And we get, this year we had seven students allocated, which worked for six different projects. And those students are pretty helpful because they get a stipend by Google to work for three months. And we have one here, right? You're from, uh, you're also a Google Summer of Code student uh, presenting. And it's a great opportunity to get, um, to get new people to your projects, right? So this is more or less like the summary. Yeah, we talked about all the stuff we want to deliver. We want to deliver high quality code, which we do via uh, LibreCourse. Uh, we, especially in the last year, we put a lot of effort in the um, contribution and licensing policies. Um, we want to foster the collaboration on open projects, so we essentially took stewardship of a few things that people didn't want anymore, which includes like Coco TV. Uh, we have Wishbone, and we have a new thing that is mBench that uh, Jeremy will talk about tomorrow, I think, right? Um, which is a benchmark suit for embedded systems, and the um, inventors of it, which is essentially Jeremy and Dave, right? And uh, yeah, and a few others, you will talk about it tomorrow, <laughs> um, that initiated it and they felt it's best uh, under the umbrella of, of Fossey Foundation to be uh, safeguarded. Yeah, and this is our conferences and you are at it and I want to give you a short outline uh, of the next things we are running. There's just, this is just like a very minor announcement because it's what I do personally also. It's, um, event I'm doing in Munich. It's an open source design verification workshop. So we want to talk about open source tools. We want to talk about um, tools for design verification, frameworks. Um, formal is probably a topic, I hope. <laughs> um, but also like many talks around the CocoDB uh, stuff. Um, it's very short notice, I know, but uh, it took us quite time to convert on a date. Uh, so it's Munich uh, it's, uh, in November 14 and 15 which is uh, Thursday and Friday in Munich at the University of Applied Sciences uh, in cooperation with the Ships Alliance. One of you will talk about it. Um, and we will put more information on the website and send you an email once we have everything set out. Uh, so if you're working in this area and want to just meet people that also do good stuff, um, it's a good opportunity to meet. Um, then we have one event in March. It's March 13th to 15th. Um, it's called FOSS Istanbul, yeah, which is FOSSI in Istanbul. Um, um, it, yeah, we, we expect that there's many people from the local area, and, but also hope that many others are coming in. It will be run similarly to uh, OrConf, so it will be on the weekend, so 13th to 15th, Friday to Sunday. Um, so you should already mark it in your calendar if you like good food and a boat trip on the Bosporus, which is likely the social event. Um, and finally, we have set the date and um, the place for Ledger up next year, it will be in Boston at MIT, um, April 11 and 12th, um, also on the weekend. I think it's around Easter, right? Um, also their registrations will start soon and we will launch the website. <coughs> and finally, next year there will be OrConf again, OrConf 2020. We don't know where yet, we don't know when yet, but it's, sorry? Antarctica, yeah, Iceland maybe. Uh, so somewhere with wine, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's usually somewhere in Europe, which we probably stick with next year again. Uh, we have a few ideas already and few people that approached us. So if you're interested, please approach us. Um, it's, it's a lot of work, but fun work to be the local organizer. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's very great that you always find people that, that enjoy doing it locally and volunteer there. So you can visit the website after our conf. You will get the updates. 
Um, and you should market your calendars all the weekends in September. You should strike out and say this is reserved for our conf. Then I wish you a great OrConf. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, like there's Philip, maybe you should introduce. Um, Julius is not in the room. No, he is. There's Julius. Uh, there's Olaf now, Olaf. There's Frank. There's Peter. Those are the directors I'm counting. There's Simon. Where's Andrew? Andrew, there you are. So th those people are the ones you should contact if you have any issues or um, need any help or assistance. Okay. So then thank you very much. Enjoy your conf, and the next talk is one of your about chips alliance. Thank you. <laughs>